what? I can't believe this. The black egghead himself wants to say sorry to Michael B. Jordan. Now, if you don't know who I'm talking about, the black egghead is no other than Joe Button. Now, last week, Joe Button decided to call Michael B. Jordan corny for what he did on the carpet. Now, we know it. We, we know the story. Michael B. Jordan was talking to L'Oreal about the podcast she did. But for Joe Button, Joe pump, pump, pump it up to have the audacity to call Michael B. Jordan corny is beyond me. To have the unmitigated gall to call Michael B. Jordan. Ain't he the sexiest man in America? You going to call him corny? And, and look. I wasn't the only one who felt like this because obviously his baby mama felt the same way because I'm hearing that she's the reason that he's apologizing today. We got the audio from his latest podcast. Shout out to Chig Smooth for the audio. Make sure you like the video and subscribe. To drop my baby off, my baby moms. We had a cool little talk, then I turned around. She said, hey, <laughs> one more thing. <laughs> Let me tell you something. Nobody will set you straight like your mama and your baby mama. <laughs> <laughs> turned around. She said, why? Why, why? why would you do that to Michael B. Jordan? <laughs> why? <laughs> when the shit start penetrating your real life. <laughs> this is my baby mom. So I had a real time. I was like, yo, I thought that shit was pretty. I thought it was corny. I thought, uh, I thought that shit was whack. She said, but you've done so much worse. <laughs> <laughs> you see what I'm saying? Joe, chasing the little kids down the street, throwing rocks at their car. I, I mean, you and, you and Stefan Marbury got, got to be tied for being the goofy ball head niggas in entertainment. All right. Stefan was eating, uh, what was he eating? Petroleum jelly. And Joe Button, you ain't far from behind with all them vests you was wearing on Love and Hip Hop, nigga. We ain't forgot the vest. I have not forgot the vest. The, the shit with the pointy on the, the you know. <sighs> and then I paused to do the science on the woman I had a kid with. Was in the hospital with you, nigga. <laughs> And you sitting, there, you sitting there defending this thing. All right, but cool. We'll put that to the side. I was like... Well, I'm whack too. <laughs> That's what it seemed like people really wanted me to say. I think the the main, say the that, main response was, but you, yeah, nigga, I'm whack. We all whack. <laughs> I thought you said you were corny a couple times during that. Uh, so right. I want to apologize. Well, he, he ain't say it loud enough, parts. Say it loud and you proud. Say, I'm corny too. I'm whack too. Don't get mad because the new whack nigga. It's getting all the females and the Lori Harveys and all the acting deals. It's not Pump 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 uh, uh, debut. Pump Pump is not on Fast and the Furious no more, Joe Button. Your time has passed. Let Michael B. Jordan have, let that nigga cook, man. So I want to apologize. Last part, I was either very irritable and grumpy or that was some fucking content genius in full effect and you all were blessed to see it. <laughs> that was fucking, that was great. What do you think? I was going to pick the safe take. All right, all right. We, we, we don't need no more. You said sorry. That's enough for me. That will probably be enough for Michael B. Jordan. Because cause you know you tripping, Joe. You know, sensei, hey, puto, you corny too, papi. You know, it's funny because I was talking about Joe and the Mexican girls last week. But the Mexican girl was the one who slapped Joe upside the head with a tortilla and some comatilla, you know, the hot sauce that come, what they call that, the patilla, with a little bit of lime juice and the hot Cheetos and had to let this nigga Joe know that he's corny too. She said, you were corny all, all while we were together, papi. You would wake up corny, you go to sleep corny, papi. Ay, ay, ay. I just got done watching Black Panther. Michael B. Jordan was amazing, papi. I didn't see Creed 3. I'm not I'm not a Creed nigga, but you know, Mike, Michael B. killed the Creed. You know, I don't like Creed, but I know he did a good job in it. You see what I'm saying? I don't watch the movies, but but I respect it. 
Sometimes you just got to respect it. You don't got to like it, but you got to respect it. Didn't Drake say that? I, I feel like Drake said that. Let me know what y'all think about this. Make sure you like the video and subscribe. I'll see y'all next time. Peace.